Hello, hello. Right. Um, I am on today to try and show you the difference with the crackle. Um, now I have turned on what I am supposed to be able to see. Uh, comments if any are made. So um, if anybody is on, it would be great to make a comment and I will see if I'm able to view them. Um, if they don't come up, yeah, still learning this, sorry folks. Um, if comments, if I don't answer a comment, then um, please forgive me. Um, I just still need to figure out, it does say preview and comments, but I'm not seeing anywhere where comments might be visible at this moment in time. Um, so anyway, hi, I hope you're all having a good Saturday. Uh, I don't know what your weather's like here, but it's really changeable um, where I am. We've had the sun, the rain, the wind, the clouds have come over again. So yeah, don't really know what's going on with it. Anyway, I'm going to crack straight on because this will record. Um, so hopefully there won't be too much problem with the buffering. Uh, if there is, I think it takes about three or four minutes for it to buffer fully to Facebook. Um, that's my internet connection, which unfortunately, although I've got boosters on, there's not much I can do. We are as far as you could be from the exchange. So our internet, although is okay, when it comes to things like this, it can be a bit, a bit slow. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to switch cameras now. You don't need to see my ugly mug. Um, so if you remember, now that's not showing fantastic. Let's try and reduce the exposure a bit and I will lift them up and take pictures, probably because they're shiny. Mm. If I do that though, we get a little bit of, uh, got a tiny little bit of flickering. I've worked out that the flickering is actually my light, but unfortunately, um, although it's a daylight light, I do need it on. So that's something else I've got to try and figure out, but I will post pictures of these once they're done. I am, what happens here? Yeah. So I'm fiddling with, um, with buttons and exposure things as I do it in the hope that, oh, that seems to have settled it a little bit. So I will try and avoid the shine. Anyway, if you remember yesterday, I was telling you with these items, this one, this one, and the um, one that has the metallic paint on were all done using Deco Arts weathered wood. And this one was coated with Deco Arts crackle glaze. I'm still trying to work out. I'm looking at the screen so I can see what you see. <laughs> I kind of do everything backwards, sorry. Um, I will get better at this, I promise. Uh, now, let me start with this one. So I'm going to coat this one with some white. All the paints I'm using are all Deco Art Americanas. I'm going to start with some white. You're supposed to be able to get picture in picture, but I don't really know still haven't figured that out yet but at some point I'll figure that out and um, for those of you that are interested you can see my ugly mug while I do stuff as well so the one I'm using is cool white and I'm going to put a thin layer of this on and hopefully you will see it crackle but with um, this just get my kitchen roll to buy my, oops, knocking things over. Um, with the Deco Art Crackle Glaze, one of the features seems to be that you could then put sort of antique wax in. So I'm just going to paint this on and with the glazes and the crackles you want to be fairly quick and you don't want to go over the same place twice 
So the teapot's going to be fun. I'm going to have to get a much bigger brush for that because that's quite a big item. Oh, I thought this one would go immediately. This is why it's good to play, to try things out. Because you don't know, and certainly I don't from never having used the crackle glaze before, exactly what's going to happen. So it's good to play. Now, as that dries, so we'll see what happens with that one. We'll come back to that. As that dries, we should start seeing some crackling going on. I'll leave it in view. We've got a slight flicker again, haven't we? Let me see if I can adjust that exposure a little bit more to stop it. it seems to have settled it. So keep your eye on that because that's the first time I've used that. So I don't know what it's going to do or how it's going to work. So now let's try the one that rather than base coating, all I did, if you remember, was um, put the um, weathered wood directly onto mount board. I'm a bit disappointed with that. I wonder if I didn't put enough stuff on. This is a learning curve for me too. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to use Americana Hauser Light Green on this one. Now this one I have used before, but I haven't done it on bare mount board. Um, it does say, you know, base coat your item with a paint and then put it on. So let's see what happens. Now this one, if it works as it should do, we, we should see this one cracking fairly, fairly quickly. I'm going to be really disappointed if none of these work. But do you know what? If they don't, I've obviously done something wrong. And we try, try again. I'm not putting the paint on terribly thin on this one. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, this one's going. Can you see it? Let me see if I can zoom in. Can you see that? It's starting to crack already, so let's get this the rest of this paint on. Good tip when you're doing this, make sure you've put enough paint out the first time round, unlike me. See, if nothing else, folks, you learn what not to do when you see me do things. Yeah, that one's gone. So this is weathered wood. It's going anyway. So again, let's leave that to dry. You should get to see all of these within the few minutes I'm going to be on. They should dry, but nothing is happening with that crackle glaze which is disappointing. I might dry that and put the crackle glaze on top again. Maybe that's what I've got to do. Let's, let's crack on though. So now I'm going to use the metallic one. Now I've never tried it the other way around to see what happens um, just because I was always told um, by trusted uh, teachers who know their stuff with decorative painting and folk art that the metallic doesn't work on top. So the metallic's gone on underneath and I'm going to just put black on this. And all my paints have decided to have little gremlin -y bits coming out. So it, it happens with your acrylics. You get dried in bits that then block up your, block up the hole is slightly frustrating when you're trying to when you want to crack on with stuff so bear with me oh man that's a big piece that's dried in there we go ah, that's better right so let's put the black on this one and um, I've got black everywhere on me now. I'm going to put this on a little bit thicker. If you put it on thicker, you're supposed to get bigger cracks. That's 
completely off camera, sorry folks. Um, that's the theory anyway, so let's see. By putting this on quite thick, whether it works. It should all work. So if anything's going wrong, it's it's going to be user error, which is me. It's just smacks of how long it's been since I've been doing things. So there we go. Let's see what happens with that one. So as I say, I don't know if anybody's there. I don't know if anybody's commenting because it's not showing up on my screen. In fact, I think it's saying that there's nobody watching, but that's fine because this will record and it will be there for you to have a look at later. It's a funny time to be doing things Saturday afternoon at two o'clock. Most people are busy, aren't they, of the weekend? But if I didn't do it today, I wouldn't get round to it. So, and I've, I've picked Saturday because then if anybody's working in the week, they would be able to see as well. Absolutely nothing has happened on this crackle glaze. So I'm just going to dry my brush and I'm actually going to put some more crackle glaze on top and see what happens. The green one is starting to crack. Can you see that? Oh gosh, look at my hands. They look terrible on a camera. Sorry, <laughs> getting distracted by my ugly hands. Um, the green one's starting to crack. So that's good. Not seeing a lot happening with the black one, but let's just try putting more crackle glaze on. Maybe I've done it wrong. So I'm taking it out of the lid because that's where it is. Let's see what happens when I do this. I'll just do half, half of this to see. Now this I might not be able to show you until tomorrow because you do not want to dry um, crackle glazes or weathered wood with, um, with a hairdryer. Whereas other paints, you you know, quite often I will. But let's, uh, let's leave that to one side and see what happens with that. And I now need to just get a bigger brush to do this teapot, which I'm going to cover in blue, which hopefully will give. Now I actually put the weathered wood on here quite thick. Um, let me try and move everything up. So the glare you're getting on that at the moment is because of the, um, it's very shiny, as you can see. So let me get some of the blue out. And once I've got this all on and we've had a good look at them, not a great deal is going on with the um, with the black one. Slightly disappointing. That is all quite disappointing. But never mind. It gets me back on here and it gives me practice with this um, live streaming with um, a package. The package I'm using, which allows me to switch cameras, which is brilliant, and zoom in and out because I haven't got fancy equipment. It's... Um, it's some software or whatever you call it, program, um, called Cinemaker. And I love it. It means that I can flick between cameras. I can do things like, um, I'm probably just going to annoy you now, but, you know, stick things up like, there's my newsletter. What else have I got? I can say that's me website so it's just really good and I can zoom in and out and as I say switch between whatever I'm doing on my desk and um, peeking on and showing you my ugly mug <laughs> sorry <laughs> playful today right let's go with this and I'm just going to zoom it out a little bit while I do it because I keep slightly losing uh, that's a little bit better. Slightly losing uh, the position. And I said I was going to get a bigger brush. And I haven't, but I've covered it in paint now. So I'm going to paint this one. 
just all over. Oh my gosh, you should see the mess I'm making on my uh, on my mat because I'm grabbing lots of paint. I'm trying not to go over where I've already painted because, like, um, just as when you're you go over your acrylic paint, it will lift. And if this cracks well, this should be ni a really nice background for putting some flowers on later. But this, when it works and works well, you can do on anything. You can do it on a canvas. You can do it on your, you know, your wooden surfaces. Um, you can even do it on glass. So it's, if you like the crackled effect, it can be put on anything so I've just broken the rule and gone over that now that one's cracking straight away brilliant love it get in view and I will um, I will zoom in on that in a minute um, a quick top tip and it will take a little while to fill the page. Let me just wipe this, put that to one side a moment. That blue one is going brilliantly. Nothing is happening with the black one. So I'm really, dis really disappointed. I've obviously done something wrong or I've put too much paint on, one or the other, but I'll work it out. But a quick tip, while I've got little bits of paint still on the palette, don't waste the paint get another surface, um, a journal page, anything that you've got to hand. And when this is full, I will show you what you can do. So I am just picking up the bits of paint and literally slapping it on. But I will show you a cool technique that um, the lovely Sandy McTeer has shown us as to what you can do with this background. I've got quite a bit of green, so I'm just going to slip slap it everywhere because as I move, as I do other bits and pieces throughout the week, um, any spare paint I will put on. And you can, of course, if you, you know, if you don't really like it, you can, of course, just add something else to it before you do a project but honestly don't waste don't waste paint ever whatever you've got on your palette paint it onto a surface canvas anything and it's amazing what sort of background you can come up with you could then add things to it you could use your stencils your stamps all sorts of things but um let me just come back to you um just to say you know I don't let anything go to waste because there's always something that can be done. So the, the oh, come back to me and I need to show you, sorry. Um, so the green one, let's just zoom right in now. The green one has cracked s some. It's still going to give a different surface rather than just flat paint. Nothing has happened with the crackle glaze, but I'm assuming that is actually me. So I will figure out what I've done or what I should have done and then come back and um, show you. Not necessarily on a live, but I'll do a little recording of whatever it was I did wrong so that I can show you the right way to do it. As of yet, absolutely nothing. Some of that paint is still quite wet. No cracking whatsoever on that. Now that has had, um, that had a layer of paint. It had quite a good layer of the weathered wood. Um, but yeah, do not know. I do not know. But some, you know, things go wrong. The, um, the two bauble shapes and the teapot all had weathered wood. Um, it's not the product. It's clearly something I've done. But look at this. How cool is that? What a background. I'm absolutely loving that. So I did put both the um, weathered wood on quite thick and then I 
actually put the paint on quite thick as well and that has just produced some fantastic cracks. So there we go, that was my quick tips and just to show you what you can do on different, you know, a, a different way of doing backgrounds for anything that you might want to do. Um, and I'll show you at a, another time whatever I end up painting on those. And yeah, I'll come back with some more tips and some different backgrounds. Um, hopefully next week, we've got quite a busy month. My granddaughter's 16 today, although she's gone away with her mum and her auntie. Um, so I've only seen her quickly, but we've, she's 16. Youngest son, sorry, I'm cleaning my hands because I've got stuff everywhere. Uh, youngest son is 18 next week. And then we've got a, a few more big birthdays in March. Um, I've got a dreaded big one in May. So we've got a really sort of um, busy celebratory year this year with the family. So we've got a 16, an 18, a 40, a 50, two 70s, a 60, an 80. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the bank's going to love me this year, this month. Well, this year, because it's going to go throughout the year, all the celebrations. Anyway, I've rabbited enough. Um, if you weren't around during the live, no worries. This will be there as a recording. Have a look at the technique. Um, I will come back and let you know what I did wrong so that we can correct it for the ones that didn't work. And yeah, have fun. Have a play. OK, take care, guys. Have a nice rest of the Saturday. Bye bye.